You know, one of the hardest things for me personally is self-confidence. I, I have a really hard time, you know, seeing myself in a good light. I've had issues of the past to where, you know, I just did not measure up to people's expectations, you know, a job's expectations. Uh, my performance regarding any kind of job was low because of my lack of understanding. It's hard for me to understand certain things. So it seems like with every negative that happened in my life, it, there was a blow to my confidence. And, you know, it also reflects, you know, any kind of romantic relationships. You know, I can look at myself and say, you know, you know, I'm not worth having because of what I supposedly lack in this world. You know, God has given me gifts, you know, writing and stuff like that, but you know, it, it's really hard with a low self-confidence to be able to, you know, see myself in a good light. When you're trashed by your family, you know, your, your parent growing up, you know, my, my dad used to, you know, see my obvious flaw regarding my weight issue. And, you know, he would speak negatively of it uh, you know family members would speak negatively of it and i was and i'm like okay you're seeing this supposed flaw and so it, it was a direct hit at my self-confidence so i had spoke in a few videos about you know me sharing you know what we struggle with as christians in this world you know we we grow up in a family that has hurt people and of course through their hurt, we get, we become hurt. So it's, it's like really under a microscope, looking at your patterns of the past, your, your psychological well being and stuff like that. You, you look closely at, you know, why you behave the way you behave and, you know, why you react to certain areas in your life, what people say and what people do that hurts you you know, why you react from that, you know, why I reacted from the issues of my past. Why did I behave through rejection and self-worth the way that I had? So I, I felt the need to contact the therapist. And I, I had been talking with the therapist for, you know, close to a month now. And, you know, I share with her every week about, you know, different things, you know, growing up and the hurts that I received. And, you know, I was just really talking about the whole self-confidence issue and why it's so low. And, and you know, it, it's hard for me to express to a certain degree about you know, seeing myself, you know, do I want to see myself as a, uh, quote unquote successful in regarding success, a lot of money and, you know, in people's expectations regarding this, you know, me, you know, pursuing, you know, the, the expectations of other people, you know, getting a good paying job and all that. And God had, you know, delivered me from that thinking. So it's like, I got to maneuver myself around a way to where I'm not going to be put into that place to where I feel like I got to work under people's expectations regarding, you know, money and, and wealth like that. I know what God has promised me, you know, I know that through him, my books will be sold, you know, they'll have to be printed again because, you know, that time passed for this old publisher, I had to give them money in order for the book to stay in print, but it wasn't God's timing for the book to come out. So I had to, you know, let it fall through to the wayside. But uh, I just, I'll have to depend on God's timing when he wants the book to come out again. And, you know, in this time, in, you know, through him, they will be successful. But it's like, Looking at myself currently, you know, I know what God has promised me. So I need to remember that, you know, and not look at myself the way the world would look at me. 
you know, I, I fail in people's eyes. I'm not living to what they think I should live to. So, you know, I, it's really hard for me to share with a therapist because she's a young female and she probably has expectations on any kind of, you know, man that she knows. So I don't want to fall to her expectations. I don't want to fall to anybody's expectations. I just want to live my life for God, doing what he wants me to do. But also, I want to be able to be healed of my past issues. You know, I want confidence. You know, it's hard for me to speak with any kind of female. You know, you know what if I have an interest in them? Well, then I, I take a step back and look at what I have or what I rather I, what I don't have in this world. And I think that those flaws are apparent to any kind of female. And eventually through discussion, I'll, I'll have to share with what I'm doing through God. And then only to hear from them that you need to pursue the, you know, expectations of the world and all that. Well, that's, that's obvious that that's not the person that God has for me. You know, the, the, the woman that God has for me is going to stand by my side in my giftings and what God has called me to him being the provider. She will understand all that. So it's trying to maneuver around, you know, speaking to the therapist. She sent me some questions about, you know, what does this guy, meaning me, see himself with full confidence. What's his daily life like? What's his job like? What's his family like? Stuff like that. And it's hard for me to see myself with, you know, great self-confidence because my entire life, I've never had self-confidence. If anything, people have trashed me. You know, my family trashed me. My, my father trashed me, you know, and of course, my sister has nothing to do with me. It's been since 2014 since I spoke to her. Her kids have nothing to do with me. The only one I have in my life is my son and my mother. I don't have anybody else, you know? And so it, it really makes it hard. It, it's a, a stab at the self-worth issue. I'm not worth, you know, being talked to. To, you know, I'm not worth the have in anybody's life. And it's not true. It's a lie of the enemy. So this is what I'm dealing with currently. You know, I, I just want to do what God wants me to do, you know, and, you know, I have to try to give the therapist, you know, an answer. But the hardest thing is seeing myself with, you know, great self-confidence when my entire life you know, people have taken a jab at it, you know, and how can I walk in healing regarding that, you know, and I want to be able to express everything I'm supposed to express to the therapist, but I don't want somebody trying to help me, you know, obtain success according to the world standards. I don't want that. So I got to try not to divulge too much information to where that's going to be focused upon. I don't want that at all. You know, all I want is healing for the issues of my past so I can move into that. So this is what I'm dealing with currently. Uh, if you have a therapist, you know, maybe you shared with them issues of your past. And my question is, did they help you? So if anyone sees this video, you know, feel free to comment. Let me know what, you know, you have experienced with your own therapist. Did they help you? Did they help you to move into healing? So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for taking the time to watch.